Okay, this how-to video is going to go through uh, one of the piece spice exercises that can be found inside the analog design and simulation using AUKAD Capture and Piece Spice book that was drafted by Dennis Fitzpatrick, who is an ex-Cadence AE. So this example on page 151 um, is a notch filter, and what we're going to do is we are going to run a Monte Carlo worst-case analysis on this design. So we'll create the project first. We'll do a new project, and we'll call this op-amp. Uh, analog or mixed AD, we'll create a blank project, and then we'll draw our part, our, our, our design as per the, the figure in the exercise. So we'll place part, we'll use the op amp library. The op amp library is going to be available in the P Spice location, so Cadence 16.6 currently, tools capture library P Spice fault location. The library is called op amp, and we can then add the op amp library and locate the part that we need. It's an NF412. So we need gate A and gate B. Let's zoom in here. Now you'll notice from the, the way that the circuit is drawn, this one's been mirrored, so we can select the part, right mouse button, and mirror it vertically and swap down uh, pins 2 and pin 3. So let's place some passive resistors. Uh, and I want to edit the value, so Control E to edit the value, 20k resistors. So I want one there, one there, one there, and then at the bottom I want two 10k resistors. some capacitors control E again to edit the value uh, so we need a 4.7 which needs to be rotated and then we need a one mic some ground symbols so ground location from the source one there one and a couple over here I need the sources so let's go voltage AC is 15 volts the other one's minus 15 volts we use this circle VCC to VSS okay let's wire up the rest of the circuit Okay, there's our there's our basic resistor or our, our, our basic notch filter. Now what we want to do is start to add some tolerances to the resistors and the capacitors. So we'll use the control select button to select all the resistors and then right mouse button edit properties. The tolerance value is already there, so we can select right mouse button edit. Let's set a value of five percent. And we'll also make that visible. So let's select the row, display, 
the value over here. We can just tidy these up if you want to. Okay, we also need to do the same for the capacitors. So we can add a 10% tolerance to the capacitors. So select the two with the control mouse button, right mouse button, edit properties, tolerance, edit, 10%. And then we'll make that visible as well. Okay, once we've got all that, what we want to do is set up a couple of simulation profiles. So we'll save our design first, and then we'll do a sim simulation profile. Now I want to do um, an AC sweep. Once that's done, we're also going to do a Monte Carlo worst case analysis. Um, I want to do worst case. The output variables are going to be V out. Let's go to the more settings. We'll set this find value to the minimum value. Worst case to low. We then want to go to the options and the output file and we want to uncheck the bias point and we want to uncheck the model parameter. to set the rel toll to 0.01. Once that's done, we're going to place a, a P spice marker. So P spice markers advanced, and we want a magnitude of voltage on the output. We're then going to then run the simulation. So you can see there's two output notch responses. The normal response is at 234 hertz and the worst case response is at 199 hertz. We can verify that by looking at the, the output file. So we'll go to view output file and we can see a list of the minimum values. And if we go to the bottom, we can kind of see the worst case for all devices. Now what we can do is we can go back to the design, let's change the tolerance of the two capacitors to 5% and we'll adjust the two resistors R4 and R5 and take them down to 1%. rerun the simulation and look at the output file and if we scroll down we're going to get the results that we need.